the Lord spoke to Abraham, leave your father's house, leave your kindred, leave your nation and go on to the land that I will show you. And in that land, I will cause you to grow. In that land, I will bless you and you will be a blessing. I will cause them that curse you and I will bless them that bless you. You would have noticed in that Genesis chapter 12 that the moment Abraham moved further and obeyed the Lord, the Bible says he raised an altar. Somebody say he raised an altar. Now he raised an altar on the Lord, but when you notice his journey, um, he always pitched tent. So the permanent in the life of our, our great grandfather Abraham were the altars that he built. The altar was so powerful that it transcended the generation of Isaac and moved into the generation of Jacob. You see, the stone there, we were told that that stone that Jacob took for pillow was part of the altar that his father raised because his father started his journey also from Haran. And when he began the journey from Haran, he got to a place and he highlighted there. So in Genesis chapter in Genesis chapter 12, you would see um, that when he got to that place, he stayed and he lifted and raised an altar before the Lord. Genesis chapter 12 from verse 7 to 8. Genesis 12, 7 to 8. I'm deliberately bringing the scriptures out for you so that you can follow. And the Lord appeared unto Abraham and said, Unto thy seed will I give this land. And there built he an altar unto the Lord who appeared unto him. What does that mean? Pastor Tommy, what does that mean? It means that there are promises of God that cannot enter the place of establishment when there is no altar. It means that the moment the Lord gave him that promise and said, see this place where you are, I am going to give this land to you is a promise. It's a, it's a, it's the fidelity of my person that I'm using to talk to you. I'm going to give you this land and this land is going to transcend you. I'm going to give it even to your children and your children's children so they can perpetuate what I want to do. In other words, everything I'm saying to you about the land is a done deal. But you cannot come into the perpetuity of this promise if you don't know how to tend it. We tend the promises of God upon the altars that we, we, we build. So he said to him in verse 8, And he removed them unto a mountain in the east of Bethel and pitched his tent. That's the word I'm looking for. He pitched his tent. All right? Having Bethel on the west and I, I on the east. And there he built an altar unto the Lord. Somebody say, Abraham pitched his tent, but he built an altar. So what does it mean to pitch? To pitch means you will just come and then put something like a tent, a, a temporary building. Am I communicating with you? A temporary building. That was what he was resting on. But what was permanent were the altars. The altars that he built were the permanent in his life. Why the, the tent he pitched were temporary. Why? He knew that his life is a journey. He knew he is on a pilgrimage. He knew he's a pilgrim. So nothing was permanent other than God. And what to secure the permanence of God in our lives will be by the altars we raise. If we don't raise altars, we will not see the desires of the kingdom being established.